I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Trinity English Joseph and in today's video about the inter first year of Telangana state the first poem that is keep going written by Edgar Albert Guest and in today's video I am just going to explain you what is keep going why should we keep going and what are the different elements the poet trying to talk to us so why late friends let us enter into the video before we enter into the video i request you all to subscribe to my channel to get more and more updated videos about english and english literature so please subscribe and share to your friends comment and then please just comment me the requirements that you have so friends uh, let us enter into the video friends ee roju manamu intermediate first year ఫస్ట్ పోయమ్ అనేటువంటి కీప్ గోయింగ్ అనే దాని గురించి తెలుసుకోబోతున్నాం సో అందరు కూడా నా యొక్క వీడియోని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసి మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ కూడా షేర్ చేస్తారనుకుంటున్నాను ఇప్పుడు మనము వీడియోని చూద్దాం సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్ ఎస్ నో అబౌట్ ద పోయట్ నౌ ద పోయట్ ఈజ్ ఎడ్బర్ ఎడ్గర్ ఆల్బర్ట్ గెస్ట్ అండ్ హీ వాజ్ ఏ బ్రిటిష్ బోర్న్ అమెరికన్ పోయట్ who became known as the people's poet because he was concerned about the problems of the people his poems often had a, an inspirational and optimistic view so it inspired the people and it has all positive view of everyday life it did not go into the utopian or imaginary world it was very close to the ordinary life he was popular in the first half of the 20th century and became known as the people's poet and guest was widely read throughout north america and his uh, sentimental optimistic poems were also very much famous among the people and friends here if you just look at the essence of guest's inspirational poem is a simple yet profound message to persist in the face of life's inevitable difficulties and sorrows he acknowledges the pain of the financial struggle born deep weariness and self doubt that can tempt us to abandon hopes and dreams here he just wants to point out about the difficulties and the sorrows and the self doubts that a person has and here this is what we would be learning about friends now let us look at the first stanza let me first read it and then i explain to you when things go wrong as they sometimes will and the road you are trudging seems all uphill when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh when care is pressing you down a bit rest if you must but don't you quit so friends this is the poem and if you just look at the meaning of this particular lines these lines describe the challenges and the hardships that one may face in life it acknowledges that sometimes things don't be as planned don't go as planned and the journey may feel difficult and overwhelming however the poem encourages perseverance and resilience it advises not to give up even when faced with adversity or the difficulty urging one to take rest if needed but to keep going and not quit it serves as a reminder to stay determined and keep pushing forward even when the road ahead seems tough ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇక్కడ ఈ పోమ్లో మనకి పోమ్ ఏమ పోయట్ ఏమని చెప్తున్నాడు అంటే మనకి లైఫ్లో ఛాలెంజెస్ హార్డ్షిప్స్ అన్నీ కూడా వస్తూ ఉంటాయి అయితే అవి వచ్చినప్పుడు మనల్ని మనము ఎంకరేజ్ చేసుకుంటూ ముందుకు పోవాలి తప్ప ఉన్నటువంటి బాధల్ని కష్టాలని చూసి మనం వెనకాడు వేయకూడదు మనం చాలా గట్టిగా ఉండాలి డిటర్మెంట్గా ఉండాలి ఓకే ఎప్పుడు కూడా మన రోడ్డుని ముందుకే మన నడకను ముందుకే సాగించాలి తప్ప వెనకడు వేయకూడదు మనం ఒకవేళ అలసిపోయినట్టయితే జీవిత ప్రయాణంలో కొంతసేపు రెస్ట్ తీసుకొని విశ్రాంతి తీసుకొని ముందుకు సాగాలి తప్ప వెనకడు వేయకూడదు అనేటువంటిది మనకి పోయట్ ఈ యొక్క 
poem lo first stanza la nerpiche atvanti summary friends let us uh, go to the second stanza life is queer with its twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learn and many a failure turns about when he might have won had he struck it out don't give up though the pace seems slow you may succeed with another blow friends if you just uh, look at here what does it exactly mean what is the meaning of this particular stanza these lines emphasize the unpredictable nature of life and the importance of perseverance life can be full of unexpected twists and turns and we may expect something that something would really happen and it happens on the contrary way or it happens exactly opposite to it we plan certain things we wanted to do certain things but automatically that turns to be something else different totally different from whatever we planned even then we should be able to digest what we have already done we all experience challenges and failures along the way as we travel in the life's journey we face so many things however the poem encourages us not to give up even when progress seems very slow it suggests that success may come after multiple attempts or setbacks and that by staying determined and continuing to try we increase our chances of achieving our goals it's a reminder to keep pushing forward and not let temporary setbacks discourage us so here the poet talks to us uh, telling that it is the importance of perseverance and as life makes to be many twists and turns you need to proceed forward there are a lot of setbacks multiple setbacks one after the other keep pushing us forward but afterwards there is a success so you should be hopeful of the success which comes after the setback so this is what the poet wants to talk to us and going to the third stanza often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup and he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was the golden crown friends if you just uh, go through here this particular lines talk to us that they highlight the idea that success or achieving our goals may be closer than it appears sometimes it seems oh it is very easy task i can do it and i can achieve success very easily but it is not so easy as we think and here if you just see even when we feel tired or discouraged sometimes in the life journey when we are on the verge of giving up we may actually be on the brink of victory even at the edge of victory there are some people who give up the poem suggests that it's important to persevere and not to lose hope as we might miss out on reaching our desired outcome it serves as a reminder to keep pushing forward even when the path seems challenging because we never know how close we are to achieving our dreams sometimes we are very much tired that we give up just before entering or tasting success so here the poet advises us not to quit never to quit our journey in spite of all our struggles and difficulties until we achieve our dream and going to the next stanza success is failure turned inside out the silver tint of the clouds of doubt and you never can tell how close you are it may be near when it seems afar so stick to the fight when you are hardest hit it's when things seem worse that you mustn't quit here the poet once again gives us some more uh, examples or some more things to support our idea why we should not quit and if you just uh, look at this particular lines friends these lines suggest that success often emerges from failure and doubt 
and here the poet highlights the unpredictable nature of progress emphasizing that we can't always accurately gauge how close we are to achieving our goals it advises us to persist and continue fighting even when faced with the toughest challenges in our life it's during the most difficult times that we mustn't give up as success may be just around the corner the poem encourages resilience and determination reminding us to keep pushing forward despite setback here i would like to remind you the students and the people those who are watching this video that in the 10th class there is a particular uh, a kind of incident where uh, you can win shukera he shares a particular incident in his book you can win saying about the famous scientist the greatest scientist thomas alva edison before he found the filament of the bulb he failed more than 10000 times and he has seen as a opportunity he has seen a chance given to him and he never got disappointed any person who gave him whatever found even on the road to mock him he has very happily accepted it so that is what is the spirit that we should give and the poet here is trying to talk to us about that particular spirit that we are supposed to imbibe in us so friends so this is the poem that it has uh, given to us and friends manu ikkada chusinatlaite manaku ochche edanti kashtalani nashtalani baristu munduku vellale tappa vaatini barinchaleka vaatini odiriveyagudu madhyalo ivanni kuda manaki kashtalu nashtalu baadalu anni ostu untai వాటన్నిటిని ఒక అవకాశంగా తీసుకోవాలి ఒక ఛాన్స్గా తీసుకోవాలి తప్ప అవి నాకు మాత్రమే వస్తున్నాయి నేను తప్ప ప్రపంచంలో ఎవరు కూడా కష్టపడలేదు అనేటువంటి ఏదైతే మనకి పెసిమిస్టిక్ ధోరణి ఉందో నెగిటివ్ థింకింగ్ ఏదైతే ఉందో అది చేయకుండా మనం ముందుకు వెళ్ళాలి మన జీవితంలో ఎప్పుడు కూడా ట్విట్ చేయకూడదు ఎప్పుడు ఏది కూడా మనం అనుకున్నటువంటి సంకల్పాన్ని వదిలిపెట్టకూడదు అని ఇక్కడ మనకి పోయేట్ అనే అతను మనకి రిమైండ్ చేస్తూ ఉన్నాడు friends uh, this is uh, for today's video keep going so friends i think you would be keeping yourself along with me in touch with me and so that we will have many more videos to come thank you all please subscribe to my channel for more videos